In this round, we're going to look at 1. How the lie affects your shot and club selection 2. How ultra-conservative golf makes you enjoy a new course and prevents you from hating it 3. How a swing can change over two years The hybrid of the tee was my standard move back in 2018 before I owned a two iron. What you see around the ball is called cow grass. It's thick and sticky, so it poses a unique challenge. A lot of grass ends up between your club base and the ball. The ball was sitting up on the grass, but it was above my feet slightly. You want to aim to the right when the ball is above your feet because it encourages a hook and then aim further right than that if the ball is sitting up because that also promotes a draw. The draw hook lie can increase distance by a few yards as well. A short side is when you leave yourself a shot with less green to work with and this was from a bunker onto a down slope with the least green to work with possible. The patch I can land this ball on is not very big. If I had missed in a better place, the chance of making an error is reduced significantly. The second hole suited my eye. I felt confident to hit the driver over that slope on the left. It's not something you can describe, but something you feel on the tee. From the cow grass again, there is going to be no spin because it gets between the club face and the ball. The ball needs to hit those grooves for traction. The ball usually bounces forward a little more out of the cow grass from this range. I hit the driver from the tee because par 5 insta driver. I sliced it through the waste bunker, into the water, one ball gone. Nowadays, on a new course, I hit my 2 iron on a par 5, no problem. It's a new course, let's get it in play and enjoy our day. I can hit driver on these same holes when I'm comfortable during my second and third rounds at the course. For the BDE crowd, who hate seeing people hit irons off the tee, yes, the driver is a weapon of note. But the theme of my channel is not just to lower your score, but mainly to have fun. There is nothing as soul destroying as losing golf balls and picking your ball up and skipping holes on a new course. To card a score on every hole or not is what makes you love or hate a course. As we get comfortable on a course, we can bring out the big dog. With the hybrid, I was worried about the slice. At that time, the 3-iron would never slice. In that instance, I should take the 3-iron. It's better to get in play and happy than crapping yourself. Oh, good morning. 
Lift yeah, up sure. now. My swing back here was much more free, loose and fluid. The reason is simple friends. I was fitter and was not spending much time on editing and creating videos. In 2020, my posture looks terrible. My swing is tight due to tight muscles in my upper back and shoulders and is a lot steeper. This is 100% from too much computer work plus editing videos and not making time for fitness and nutrition. It's changing in 2020, but this is a strong visual warning for the players. Flatten your curves. Don't fatten the curve. My lower, middle, upper back are all a ball of tension. My hamstrings are weak too, and my core is a bowl of porridge. Can you see the massive impact it's made? In this short fluffy rough, the temptation is to treat it like a fairway lie. The club gets into the grass too early and the ball hits the top of the club face. You lose a lot of yardage when that happens. If you hover the club, you may catch it well, but it has a tendency to go left. The green was behind the trees and I had to chip out to leave an approach to the island green. This is the biggest pool hook you'll ever see. Two shots later, from the next fairway, I was in this bunker hitting my fourth. Not an ideal position, players, and this is where the problems start. It was not 100% happy on the tee with the driver, but it was par 5, so I pulled it automatically. This leads to a lack of commitment, and a shot that leaves you in a puffy position. We slide downhill slowly, and then it's time to hate the course. The ball was above my feet again and in the fluffy Bermuda rough. I still didn't aim it to the right side of the green, but instead tried to counter the slope with a fade shot. It kind of worked, but even still, we need to avoid the water on the left entirely. I got really lucky and hit and held the green. Very good. No. Cutting. No, I think I'm short. Oh. 
It's just, if you could strike with fifth. Par 5 and Instapool the driver, despite the doubts. Water left, Oscar Bravo on the right. Why not a baby 3 iron up there, turn it into a 3 shotter and GTFO with a par. Let me tell you, that was my first drive. The second one wasn't caught on film and Mr. Big Dog Energy was walking up the fairway, not playing the hole. How different is it to not lose two balls on the hole and card a score? Even if that score is a 7, at least it's not a two ball lost. Pick up and do the walk of shame. I can see the shot now. A simple three iron straight to the first bunker. Bing, bang, boom. It's the 15th hole and we've had enough. I mean, may as well go big or go home, right? I hit driver, kind of knowing that it tightened up a lot in the landing area. But I was entitled to blowing up. I just stayed up and out of the water. When the ball is below your feet, the tendency is to fade or slice the ball depending on how much it is below your feet. From the rough, we can't expect much backspin either, but with a fade, we're generally stopping quicker anyway. We can see clearly on this day, I was either 1. Overestimating my distance, 2. Not hitting the ball solidly, or 3. Not accounting much for wind. Whatever one it was, we need to adapt on the day. If we're hitting a club shorter, we must club up. This is a tremendous shot. If I hit two yards past the pin, it funnels down to the other side of the green, which is about six feet below the cup. It's an insane green, so I needed to keep this short with a flop style shot. In the end players, stay fit, stay flexible, don't let work take over your life. Don't try grow a YouTube channel for 18 months in your free time without exercise. Think about your lie and select your club and shot based on the lie and the terrain. Play ultra conservative on the new course so you leave the course in love with it and ready for more. Let's never hate another course again.